Hello, this video is in our series on Threat Intelligence Data Feeds. Today we will discuss OVAL, a data definition format that enables the automated detection of software vulnerabilities. We will do this with an example of industrial control systems, ICS. Industrial control systems are integrated to modern industrial operations, providing the automation, control and monitoring necessary to maintain high efficiency, safety and reliability in various industrial sectors. To effectively protect such systems from threats, it's essential to regularly check for vulnerabilities and take steps to remediate them. We will show how using vulnerability data in oval format significantly simplifies this process. But first, let's understand what oval is. OVAL is a standardized language for describing vulnerabilities, software, configurations, and workstation security settings. The creator of OVAL is the Mitra Corporation, and the OVAL effort is currently supported by the OVAL community. With OVAL definitions and a special interpreter, one can search for vulnerabilities and security configuration errors. OVAL helps save time by automating the manual search for vulnerabilities, which is often required in industrial environments. It's worth nothing that OVAL scanning doesn't interfere with the normal operation of ICS system software. However, at present, OVAL definitions for industrial software are practically absent in public and commercial sources. This may be due to the specialized nature of this software and the complexity of preparing the environment for creating and testing OVALs. The Kaspersky CS3 team is addressing the issue by creating OVAL definitions for vulnerabilities in ICS, software and other relevant software used in process control networks. These definitions are available as a constantly updated data feed. The data feed consists of a set of definitions that describe specific vulnerabilities in both common scaled systems which are critical components of technological process control as well as in other industrial software. Information for each vulnerability includes the vendor's remediation recommendations, as well as recommendations and additional important information from Kaspersky CS3 experts. For instance, in this case, the oval definition you see on the screen besides the vendor's recommendations contains a Suricata rule for detecting exploitation attempts of a denial of service vulnerability in Siemens VCC product. To use the oval data feed, an interpreter is needed. This tool is run on the target computer and scans it for vulnerable software, as well as vulnerable configurations and security settings using oval definitions. The oval interpreter can be part of comprehensive cybersecurity products, such as endpoint protection tools within the components of vulnerability management and security auditing. In the demonstration, we will look at two solutions and two methods. Local scanning using a free open source interpreter and centralized remote scanning using the Kaspersky Security Center solution. First, we will look at a widely used and free OVAL interpreter, formerly known as OVALD. So, let's see how OVAL scanning works on the example of an engineer's computer with Siemens VCC, HMI system, and Siemens Step 7 industrial controller program is software installed. I will now demonstrate the versions of the installed software. First, let's launch Siemens Sematic Step 7. It is software for configuration Siemens PLCs and other devices. In the About menu, we can find versions of the software. In our case, the version 5.5 and Service Pack 4 is installed. Next, let's launch Siemens VCC. This is human machine interface. And in our case, we have 7.4 version. We have previously downloaded and unpacked the oval interpreter, which doesn't require installation. And now we need to add the fresh oval data feed file to the interpreter folder. We launch the interpreter from the command line with administrator rights. You can see the common descriptions on the screen. Upon completion of the scanning, the result is displayed in the command line in a general form. Definitions with the true result indicate that the vulnerability software or configuration has been detected. Files with scanning results have been generated in the interpreter's directory. 
let's look at the file in HTML format. In addition to system information, this report lists all the definitions used by the scanning. Definitions with a positive result are at very beginning and we can understand which software is vulnerable and its brief description. We encounter limitations of a free interpreter, such as the lack of a vulnerability severity rating, detailed descriptions, and recommendations in the reports. These limitations can be bypassed in several ways. For example, by using vulnerability identifiers and searching for recommendations on the vendor's website or other resources. You can also independently find the necessary information in the file with all definitions. Or use the database of vulnerabilities for industrial devices and software, access to which we sell as a regularly updated data feed. Without a convenient data management tool, this method are unproductive when processes scanning results for an entire technological segment of an enterprise. Now I will demonstrate one of the ways of automated remote scanning of workstations with an improved reporting system. We will use the Kaspersky tool for centralized management of protective solutions, namely Kaspersky Security Center. This solution allows creating all scanning tasks and scheduling them for many endpoints. Initially, we need to create a security audit task in which we specify devices for scanning and select the data feed with all definitions and the scanning rules. After the task is completed, a report will be generated in the Kaspersky Security Center interface, which we have previously exported using the Create Report button. This report contains information about the scanning results for each oval definition, just like in free oval interpreters report. But the main difference is that this report includes additional important information such as descriptions of vulnerabilities, severity ratings, vendor recommendations, and Kaspersky says third experts advice on remediation. For the denial of service vulnerability in Siemens MCC that we mentioned earlier, the report pulls all the necessary information for remediation from our oval data feed. You can find out more details via the links. Goodbye.